Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime Viking Ships at Sunrise is the 15th book in the Magic Treehouse series by Mary Pope Osborne, first published in 1998. The Magic Treehouse series is a beloved collection of children's books that combine elements of fantasy with historical adventure, making history accessible and engaging for young readers. Each book follows siblings Jack and Annie as they travel through time, using their magical treehouse to explore different historical periods. In this installment, the story takes Jack and Annie to the time of the Vikings, a fierce and seafaring people known for their raids and explorations during the Middle Ages. The book not only introduces young readers to Viking culture but also explores the significance of knowledge preservation during the Dark Ages, a time when much of the classical knowledge from earlier civilizations was at risk of being lost. Osborne's narrative, while simple, is led with historical facts and educational content, making it a valuable tool for introducing children to history. Viking Ships at Sunrise highlights the importance of books and knowledge, themes that are central to the entire Magic Treehouse series. Characters Jack, the older brother, cautious, thoughtful, and a lover of books and knowledge. He often acts as the voice of reason during their adventures. Annie, the younger sister, brave, impulsive, and full of curiosity. Her adventurous spirit often drives the plot forward. Morgan Le Fay, the magical librarian who guides Jack and Annie on their missions, often providing them with tasks that are connected to the preservation of knowledge. Brother Patrick, a monk from the Abbey of Lindisfarne who is dedicated to preserving the knowledge of the past by copying manuscripts. Brother Michael, Another monk at the Abbey who helps Jack and Annie understand the importance of their mission. Book Summary The Message from Morgan The story begins in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, where Jack and Annie discover a new mission waiting for them in the Magic Tree House. Morgan Le Fay has left them a message, asking them to retrieve a valuable book from the time of the Vikings. This book is crucial for preserving knowledge during a period when much of it was at risk of being lost due to wars and raids. Jack and Annie are excited but also nervous about facing the feared Vikings. The chapter sets the stage for their adventure, establishing the historical context and the importance of their mission. Osborne's use of suspense and the siblings' concern about the Vikings immediately engage the reader, hinting at the challenges they will face in this dangerous time period. Journey to the Past Jack and Annie find themselves transported to the coast of medieval Ireland, near the Abbey of Lindisfarne, a famous monastery known for its beautiful manuscripts. As they explore the area, they come across a group of monks who are hard at work copying ancient texts. Jack is fascinated by the intricate artwork in the manuscripts, while Annie is eager to learn more about the monks and their way of life. They soon meet Brother Patrick, who tells them about the importance of preserving these books, which contain the wisdom of the past. However, there is a sense of urgency in the air, as the monks are aware that Viking raids could happen at any time. This chapter immerses the reader in the historical setting, providing details about the monastery's role in preserving knowledge and the looming threat posed by the Vikings. Jack's fascination with the manuscripts reflects the book's theme of the importance of knowledge, while Annie's interactions with the monks add a human element to the story. The Viking Threat The peaceful atmosphere of the abbey is shattered when a lookout announces that Viking ships have been spotted on the horizon. Panic ensues as the monks scramble to hide their precious books and relics before the invaders arrive. Jack and Annie offer to help, and brother Michael entrusts them with an important manuscript, asking them to hide it somewhere safe. The siblings take the manuscript and run towards the nearby cliffs, hoping to find a hiding spot before the Vikings reach the shore. The tension in this chapter builds as the Vikings draw closer, with Osborne's description of the monk's fear and urgency adding to the suspense. The chapter also highlights the destructive impact of the Viking raids on centers of learning and culture, reinforcing the book's theme of the fragility of knowledge. The Chase as Jack and Annie race to find a safe place for the manuscript, they hear the sound of the Viking ships landing on the beach. The fierce warriors are soon on their trail, and the siblings must use all their wits to evade capture. 
They find a small cave in the cliffs and hide the manuscript there, but before they can escape, they are spotted by a group of Vikings. The chase is intense, with Jack and Annie narrowly avoiding capture as they navigate the rocky terrain. In the end, they manage to outsmart their pursuers by using their knowledge of the landscape and a bit of luck. This chapter is action-packed, with the chase scene adding excitement and urgency to the story. Jack and Annie's resourcefulness is on full display as they use their environment to their advantage, showing how knowledge and quick thinking can overcome brute strength. A narrow escape. Jack and Annie manage to evade the Vikings and make their way back to the abbey, where they find the monks huddled in fear, waiting for the raid to end. They retrieve the manuscript from its hiding place and return it to Brother Patrick, who is overjoyed to see it safe. The monks express their gratitude to Jack and Annie, who then realize that their mission is not yet complete. They still need to return to the tree house and bring the manuscript back to the present to ensure its survival. As they say their goodbyes, the monks bless them, and they head back to the tree house, which magically transports them back to Frog Creek. The chapter provides a satisfying resolution to the immediate danger, but also reinforces the idea that the preservation of knowledge is an ongoing battle, not just a single event. Safe at home. Back in Frog Creek, Jack and Annie reflect on their adventure. They feel a deep sense of accomplishment, knowing that they have played a role in saving a piece of history. Jack carefully places the manuscript on the shelf in the Magic Tree House, where it will be safe for future generations. The siblings discuss the importance of books and learning, and how their adventures have shown them the value of preserving knowledge. The chapter ends with Jack and Annie looking forward to their next adventure, knowing that they will continue to be guardians of history. This final chapter serves as a conclusion to the story, tying together the themes of knowledge preservation and the importance of history. It also sets the stage for future adventures, with Jack and Annie ready to take on new challenges in different times and places. Themes The importance of knowledge preservation, the central theme of the book is the preservation of knowledge. The monks at the Abbey of Lindisfarne represent the efforts to save the wisdom of the past during a time when much of it was at risk of being lost due to wars and raids. Courage in the face of danger, Jack and Annie's bravery is a key theme, as they take on the dangerous task of protecting a valuable manuscript from the Vikings, despite the risks involved. Resourcefulness and quick thinking, throughout the story, Jack and Annie use their intelligence and knowledge to outsmart the Vikings and protect the manuscript, demonstrating the importance of being resourceful in difficult situations. The fragility of civilization, the Viking raids symbolize the vulnerability of human achievements, particularly in the realms of culture and learning, emphasizing the need to protect and cherish these accomplishments. Analysis Character Development Jack's cautious nature is balanced by his growing sense of responsibility for preserving history, which drives him to take bold actions. Annie's adventurous spirit is tempered by her empathy for the monks and her understanding of the importance of their work. Historical accuracy Osborne effectively blends historical facts with fiction, providing young readers with a vivid portrayal of the Viking era and the significance of monastic centers like Lindisfarne. Use of suspense. The tension between the peaceful life of the monks and the imminent Viking threat is well crafted, keeping readers engaged and invested in the outcome. Educational value. The book serves as an introduction to the concept of the Dark Ages and the importance of knowledge preservation during times of turmoil, making it both an entertaining and educational read. Conclusion. Viking Ships at Sunrise is a well-crafted adventure that not only entertains but also educates young readers about an important period in history. Through the eyes of Jack and Annie, readers are introduced to the challenges of preserving knowledge during the Dark Ages, a theme that resonates with modern concerns about the preservation of culture and history. The book's combination of action, suspense, and historical detail makes it a valuable addition to the Magic Treehouse series continuing the tradition of using time travel to explore significant moments in the past. Mary Pope Osborne's ability to weave together fact and fiction ensures that Viking ships at sunrise will remain a favorite for young readers and a useful tool for educators.
The end. Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications. And leave your comments. See you in next book.